Hello, this is Clint Halstead, and this is a video that I'm making for the microprocessors class, Introduction to Embedded Microprocessors, PIC 16 series. And students have been having a question about the PIC 16F84 because the videos I made were for the 16F84. But the PIC DEM lab kits come only with uh, the PIC 16F88. And you can see here the website. You can see the kit and what comes in the kit. You can see the different chips that come with it. You can see here the picture of, of everything that comes in the kit the CD, the different components, several different integrated circuit chips. Also comes with the 16F690, 16F88, 616. One of my students said that um, they only had the 616, but one thing you have to remember is that there's some PIC chips pre-installed on the board. So if you look at those chips right there, those those chips are available on the board, they're already installed. I think the 84, 88 is right there at the cursor. And so that, that chip's available to use. You have the power there, you have a battery, you need to turn on the switch. Uh, the LED is going to light up, so you also have to remember to do that. And connect to the right header. The header is actually above, right above the chip. Uh, so the PIC kit 3 connects right there in that header if you use the 88 in that slot in the middle. Um, and the header that you, is, uh, is above each chip. So there's three headers and there's three chips. Actually, there's there's uh, four headers. The fourth header actually goes to some pins that you can connect to the development area. Also, don't forget uh, there's some VDD um, VDD jumpers, say VDD one, two, and three, that you have to have connected as well in this area. You have the CD that you can install for the schematics to help you out as well. So now we will go and look at an example software of the some 84 code that was converted to 88. There's um, a few things you have to do to the config register to make it work out because the 88 and the 84 are a little bit different. So we have to make some modifications. You can see here um, that the, the changes I made going from the 84 to the 88. You can see here that for the 84 um, there's several places where I have where you're going to have to change that 84A to an 88 and there's also um, a few things down here on the config that you're going to have to change as well you can notice that here is the on the bottom is the new code, on the top there is the old code that I changed from. And you can see the difference there. One thing is the chip needs to change from 84A to 88. You need to add an underscore config one comma space because the 88 does actually has two config areas. 
You also have to ch change the RC OS uh, to a low power OS because the 88 does not have a RC oscillator. And you can see right there that is the location for the low power oscillator. It operates at a low frequency. You connect two wires there and then you move the, you connect those wires to the oscillator pins on the the 88. You're going to have to do that or it will not work. So now you can see that uh, that's how you change the code. We're going to actually go back to the way it was before so I can have a reference point there of showing what, I, what I've changed in this code. So I'll remember what I did. Um, also notice that this website is where I got some information on how to make this change. It was a forum that I found. The website described uh, what you needed to do. You can use this forum to look up things if you have questions. Or you can just go to Google. I think I just actually went to Google to find this forum. But notice that um, there's there are several things on there that you could look up. But what we're going to do now is. Um, look at the include file notice that in the include file you you have the two different config registers one and two and you have the different oscillator codes and in this case there was no RC oscillator so that's why we have to change to the low power oscillator LP So let's comment out the, um, the 88 code. Let's put it back on the 84 and let's rerun it and see what happens. Notice that the chip is set for the 88 even though I've got in my code I've got it set for the 84. Notice I get an error. If I click on that error it will show what the issue is and it's saying that that variable is not defined and that's because RC does not exist in the 88 but if I comment out the 84A and, and have the 88 code then it will pass when I when I do a build all clean and build command you notice that it says loading um, build successful loading complete so let's show how we can do that from a new project so what notice here that um, what we can do is set that as main project and and we can look at the original code that I want to change from so the idea is that I'm going to show how to take the 84 code and I'm going to create a new project and copy this file to the new project. Instead of changing this existing project, I want to show you how to start from the very beginning to, to create your new code that will work for 80, 88 processor. Now, notice also that the config word can be configured um, as a binary number that you, you just saw there. But what we're going to do is create a new project, baseline, and then we can just type pick, t pick 16F88, select it, next. We're going to pick the simulator because uh, right now we don't have a pick kit 3 installed I don't have that I'm not using that right now so I'm just going to use a simulator and I'm going to select MPASM I'm going to name the project 
flashing LEDs and then I'm going to call it um, 88, pick 88 and B because I already have a a non-B version. I'm going to set as main project. Notice that when you set as main project um, the, the other project is no longer bold and the project that is the main project is bold characters and that's how you know what project you're set to. Now when you have that, that set to that project that means when you hit these buttons at the top your build buttons then it will actually build to that project. Now notice that um, the config word here is what needs to change. We want to get this. Notice that this actually file that's open that was just open was the old file and was not actually associated with my new project. So what I have to do is move. Um, notice that I don't have any files in here to speak of. I need to move this main ASM from my old project uh, to my new project. So I can do copy and then I can paste okay let's try that again copy and then we're going to do paste okay we got it now we have the new the uh, the same we just copied that file and put it on our new project so now we don't have to change the existing project or the existing file and make sure that you have the current project you want in bold again to, just to be certain make sure everything else is closed out as well all your other windows also make sure you have this projects um, window and this dashboard it's very important that you have these windows open I noticed some students have closed them inadvertently and you can reopen them with going to the window now let's close them out and see what would happen to get it back there you go you can get it back pretty easily if you close this one out you can go to uh, dashboard and then you can move it down to the lower bottom corner and this is the way your your windows should look when you're doing a project so you can see all your project settings your chip ID um, you can see your assembler you can see that you have the simulator or the pit kit 3 so you need to have these tools open so you know what uh, settings you have now if you double click main.asm your program file is going to open up the original one it's designed for the 80 84A, but we want to change it to work with the 88. So we're going to backspace and go 88. Backspace on the list 88. We're going to add underscore config one, comma, space. We're going to change RC in a minute we'll do that but we can also get rid of this it's just an extra list command that we don't need you can try and notice what happens if we run it with RC it says that there's an error undefined uh, underscore RC and what can we do to figure out what the error is well, we, we have to look at the include file. Either, although we don't really have to add the include file on the left side to header files, um, it makes it easier if we go find that header file 
add it to the project. It makes it easier for us to double click on that and then we can view that header file and see what's inside of there. Because that's where um, all their information comes for the config file. So the way we do that is actually this is not the right window right click and say add existing item and then we have to browse to the microchip folder which is under C drive program files x86 I have two because the program files is for 64-bit applications program files x86 is for 32-bit uh, programs because I do have a 64-bit operating system and that's what those are for. This is the x86 has my MP Lab X because this program is a 32-bit program. And I go to MP Lab X, MP ASM, and then I'm going to find pick 16 F eighty eight. There it is. Now I can double click that and I can look at that that include file and I can go all the way down to the bottom and look at the config registers and notice that there's a config one and a config two. Whereas for the eighty four A there is only one config register. Notice that I have the I don't have the RC oscillator in here. I only have the LP and I have um, XT and several others, but I do not have the RC oscillator. So that was the issue is that I'm now using this file and there I had a statement to say underscore RC oscillator, but that command did not exist. So I need to grab the low power oscillator command and put in there. So I'll select it, control C for copy. Then I will paste it where the RC oscillator is at. And that should be good. Save it. Clean and build and now it passes. Loading completed, build successful. Notice that this, you can also configure the config register in binary if you don't want to use the mnemonics from the header file. You can just go to the data sheet and just type in the straight zeros and ones from the data sheet to, con to configure your config register. The ones above are um, just anded together and you have to have the mnemonics and the header file. So our code is working now and we we could simulate this. Uh, you could download it if you had your pit kit connected but in this case we're simulating so we can run the simulation hit stop, I mean no, don't hit stop, hit uh, run it again, hit pause, and then you can hit reset, and then you can single step through it one instruction at a time. And then you can view your special function registers and things like that, and you can see what's going on inside the, the chip, going to the window. You can stop it, and then that's it. That should show you how to convert from 84 to 88 so good luck